Before the break, we learned about just a few of the contributions Frank Perdue made to not only the local economy, but also to the lives of people here on Delmarva. And here's something else he helped bring to the area, $4 million worth of sunken treasure. <laughs> Delmarva Life Sean Stryker stopped by the Treasures of the Sea exhibit in Georgetown to find out the story behind the Nuestra Senora de Atocha. It was 1622 when the Nuestra Senora de Atocha set sail off the coast of Havana. She was just one day into her journey when disaster struck. A terrible hurricane hit, sending the vessel to a watery grave. Today, all that remains is a handful of precious artifacts, some of which are on display right here on Delmarva at the Treasures of the Sea exhibit at Delaware Technical Community College in Georgetown. Most people are surprised just to find this much stuff in a small place here in the middle of little old Georgetown. <laughs> so how did this treasure end up in Delaware? Well, as the story goes, back in the 70s, a man named Mel Fisher was searching for the Atocha. Mel Fisher searched for 16 years before he actually found treasure. It's serious dedication. <laughs> His um, motto was, today is the day. And every day was the day, until he found it. His find came with the help of two major investors, both from Delmarva, Frank Perdue and Melvin Joseph. They worked with Dell Tech, which created the Delaware Technical Community College Educational Foundation, which is a not-for-profit that works here with the school. And what it does is it helps students out with things like scholarships here. So when people come in to visit our exhibit, it helps benefit the community and the college. While Frank stuck to providing the funding, Melvin was more hands-on. He helped operate the crane that hoisted the cannons from the ocean floor. Some of those cannons are on display in Georgetown. So out of the four cannons you have in the exhibit here, this one is your crowning jewel. Yes, this is a 3,000 pound bronze cannon. It's one of four we have in the exhibit. On it is featured the King's Seal, its serial number, and the handles are Baroque dolphins, which are a symbol of good luck to sailors and soldiers on the ship. And that's what you said, they rub the dolphins for good luck before battle. Before battles or voyages, it's kind of like a rabbit's foot. Now why is this one uh, preserved so well? When they found it, she was buried in the sand, which protected the symbols and markings on the cannon. But the exhibit goes well beyond cannons. Also on display are coral encrusted muskets, swords, and cooking grills which are preserved in fresh water display cases. You'll even find some of the silver ingots, coins, and jewelry that made the Atocha a sought after ship for treasure hunters. There's even a spot the treasure exhibit to spark the imagination of future treasure hunters. Now some of the most valuable artifacts are kept in the vault behind me. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to bring a camera in there, so you're just gonna have to stop by and check it out yourself. In total, Treasure hunters have recovered about $600 million in items from the Atocha. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I need to get in that vault, so i got to head Some up there. Some the other. Yeah. <laughs> well, another treasure to be found here on Delmarva is healthy blogger Lynn Mateva, also known as the Country Tart. After the break, she's in the Delmarva Life Kitchen teaching us to make a five-minute shrimp dish. It's healthy, quick, and most importantly, easy. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.